welcome to howtocookgreatfood.com. Hi, welcome to howtocookgreatfood.com. Today I'm going to be making a pea and mint soup. This soup is very, very simple to make. Let's just have a look at the ingredients. I've got at the back some onions. I generally use red onions for most of my cooking. They're just slightly stronger and uh, you need less of them. Next to that, I've got a regular packet of frozen peas. As you can see, they're still frozen. Below there, I've got a few potatoes. In my next bowl, I've got some lovely fresh mint. Now you can use, you could if you want, you could use dried mint for this. It will work. The fresh mint's just a little bit nicer. And in the center, I've simply got a knob of butter, like a tablespoon of butter, and some salt and pepper. That's it. The only other thing we're gonna to add to this is water. So let's get over to the cooker. I'm gonna start cooking this delicious, very simple soup. Okay, here we go. I'm gonna just drop in my butter and my salt and pepper and straight away my onions and my potato. A little quick mix. And I'm going straight in with our frozen peas. to defrost them or anything. So I've got this on a medium to high heat. What we'll do now, we'll get a lid on there. Just let them work together, sweat away. For about five or six minutes then we'll be back. See you then. So let's take a look now. This is just five or six minutes. That's looking fantastic. Now I'm just going to chop all my fresh mint in. Like I say, you can use dried mint for this. Not quite the same. Let's give that a little stir. Drop in just some regular water. This is cold water. There's enough there, as you can see, that just covers all the vegetables by about a centimeter. Okay, so we're going to put the lid back on, bring this to the boil, and then simmer it for I reckon about 15 minutes. We just have to make sure that the vegetables, especially the potatoes, are very, very soft. Then we can liquidize it. So I'll be back in about 15 minutes, I think. See you then. All right, let's take a look at this now. I'm just gonna turn the heat off. This is definitely done. I can see those potatoes are really soft. Okay, very soon. Oh. We're going to liquidize this now. I'll use one of these fellows. So let me liquidize this. If it's um, too thick, you can always add a little bit of water to it. So I'm going to liquidize this. When it's done, I'll come back. See you in a moment. Okay. Just set that aside. This consistency looks great to me, and that's perfect. Like I say, if it was a little bit thick, you could add just a little bit more water. And it really looks great. I love the colour of it. Let's give it a little taste. That's really beautiful. Just add a little touch of salt. Just a little bit more salt in there. That mint, fantastic, and then the peas are really doing their job. Okay, there's a touch of, touch of salt. You can add a little bit of cream to this if you want. I'm not going to. I might add a little bit. 
what I like to do for this is a little touch of Tabasco in there. If you like that sort of thing, if you're a heat seeker. Okay, well that's it. I'll see you again next time. And I hope you enjoy making this. Take care, bye bye. HowToCookGreatFood.com Don't forget to subscribe to our channel.